Hi, I'm Paul Robbins, and here's something you may not have known about agriculture. We all like to think that we're making good choices when it comes to our diets, and the fact is, however, most of us these days are consuming more soft drinks, eating more fast food than ever before, and this focus on what we eat has prompted a lot of us to look at healthier alternatives in our daily diets. That means cutting down on uh, portions, paying attention to calories, and definitely loading our plates with more fresh fruits and vegetables. And while we're on that subject, let us talk lettuce. If you dialed back the clock to the turn of the 20th century, lettuce would not be on the dinner plate in many homes. Why? Well, you could only grow it in warmer weather, it didn't ship very well before refrigeration, and it didn't make it on any list of fad food favorites. The good news is that most of us today eat about 30 pounds of lettuce a year. That is five times the amount of lettuce the average American ate in 1900. Some food historians claim that the lettuce that we see today started out as a weed in the lands of the Mediterranean basin. Folks there were serving lettuce dishes 4,000 years ago, and Spanish explorers brought lettuce with them when they sailed to the New World. As for colonial lettuce luminaries, Thomas Jefferson reportedly had 19 varieties of lettuce growing at his home at Monticello, and he served it at White House dinners as well. We think of lettuce as a green vegetable, but there are red, yellow, and blue-green varieties, and you pretty much have to eat it fresh, since it doesn't freeze, dry, pickle, or lend itself to canning very well. There are four main types of lettuce. Butterhead, like a Boston and Bib, Crisphead, that's your iceberg variety, loose leaf, and Romaine, very popular in Caesar salads. So what's the best lettuce to sample if you're adding salads to your diet? Nutritionists say that they're all low in calories, but the darker the green, the better for you when it comes to nutrients.